for the coin flip, we're going to start with our thumb near the globe. We're going to start hand down, handle going back. What this is going to look like in full speed is this. Now, to do that, we're going to allow the handle to come forward as the globe comes up. I'm going to sneak my thumb on the same side as my fingers. It's going to keep that transition close. So we want that to almost roll within our hand rather than coming out wide, releasing, and catching really far apart because that gets out of control very quickly. So if we can keep that mace close to our hand, it's in a lot more control. So handle comes forward as the globe comes up, handle sneaks on the same side as my thumb, and it rolls so the handle is now behind forward. Now to get back to where I started, I'm just going to reverse that, let the handle come down with my thumb on the same side as my fingers so that it rolls, regrip, and now the handle is back. Forward and backwards. So one thing to think about here is commit. It's okay if you drop the mace or at least make sure when you're practicing this movement you're somewhere where it's okay to drop, like in the grass or on mats. Because you want to commit to that movement because if you try to twirl it within your fingers, chances are your fingers may not be strong enough to hold that mace up and you're going to end up dropping it anyway. So I'd rather you practice confidently and commit to that movement rather than trying to get it and then it is out of control. So, confidence is key. And if you drop the mace, that's okay. Move yourself out of the way, let it fall and settle, and just pick it back up and try again. So, again, be somewhere where it's okay to drop the mace for this movement and be confident. This move can also be done in front. With the same motion, I let the handle come to the other side, put my thumb on the same side as my fingers, and re grip. I can do this off to the side as well, and more of a sword grip. So the handle is pointed up at an angle. I let that come down as my thumb sinks over. And now the handle is down. I can bring that handle up. And now it's in that sword grip again. So practice this forward at first, then you can practice it in front, and then practice it off to the side. Okay? Enjoy this, and I'll see you back here for the next one.